In the previous lecture, we started a new brownie project from scratch. In this lecture, we are continuing the project and we're going to build a simple Solidity smart contract. So join me in your project folder on your code editor like Visual Studio Code. Note that we have to have a Solidity compiler extension. So make sure that you install the Solidity compiler extension so that way you can write Solidity code on Visual Studio Code. All right, so let's create a simple Solidity smart contract. You can also create it on Remix to test it out quickly, and then you can copy it into your project, or you can build it directly in the project and you can compile it via your console and therefore test it out via the console. So let's go into the contracts folder and create a new file. We're going to create a file for our smart contract that we will call our hello world contract and make sure you add to it the extension dot solidity so that way it is read as a solidity file. Okay, now that we're in this hello world file, let's start building out the contract. So at the top, we need our license identifier for the license of the file, like MIT. Then we need the version of Solidity that the file is compatible with, so you can say a minimum of 0.8.12. And then you can save your file. Next, you can create a contract, which we'll call Hello World. And inside of this contract, we'll have a state variable of a uint256 that we'll call my number. We'll have a function that allows us to get the number. The default initial value of the number will be zero. So we can create this function that returns a uint256 and it's going to return my number. We can also build one more function and that will be a function to change the number. So let's create a function called change number. This will take in a uint256 for my number and it's going to return a uint256 of the new value. So we're going to take my number and assign it to equal the input and then we're going to return my number, the changed value. All right, so this will be our simple Solidity smart contract. Now we can compile it to check if it actually works by going into our terminal or command line application into our project folder. Here we can use the brownie command compile, which is going to compile all of our Solidity smart contracts. So we should see this message compiling contracts with the Solidity compiler version. We should generate build data for our hello world contract. And then we get a message that the project has been compiled. Build artifacts were saved at our project folder slash build slash contracts. So now if we go into the build folder under contracts, we can actually see a JSON version of our contract. So this is the compiled version of the contract, which means that the Solidity compiler took the Solidity file and it compiled it into JSON data. So that way the Ethereum virtual machine can read the JSON data. So this verifies that our smart contract successfully compiles. We didn't get any compilation errors. So we, that means we successfully built the smart contract. Next up, we're going to continue this project and we're going to build a Python script that will deploy the smart contract for us. So we'll be able to automate the deploying of the contract, which means putting the contract onto the blockchain. So don't miss the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.